What's up guys and gals, my name is Rick 9 g thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Hogan's Heroes. Thanks to all of you who have supported me, and thanks to all the new subscribers. If you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to hit that button, it does help out my channel. The faster this channel continues to grow, then the more content I can produce, so thank you so much. Today we're going to be looking at Hogan's Heroes and the work schedule, or as a filming schedule of the show. Now this information comes from Robert Clary himself, who played Corporal LeBeau on the show, of course, The Frenchman. So let's look at the show and how it was created. According to him, it was a very well-oiled machine. Making a TV show, especially a weekly TV show, is very difficult and things have to work very well. And Let's begin on Friday morning, 10 a.m. Now, the regular cast, which included Bob Crane, Werner Klemper, John Banner, Ivan Dixon, Larry Hovis, Richard Dawson, and, of course, Robert Cleary, plus any guest stars who had any big roles on that show during the upcoming week, would meet in office with Edward Feldman. Now, Edward Feldman was the producer of Hogan's Heroes, so he was pretty much instrumental. Comparative to I Love Lucy would be Jess Oppenheimer, or even on Gilligan's Island, Sherwood Schwartz. Now, meeting in this office, along with the director assigned to shoot that particular episode, they would read the script and see if it worked and any changes were needed. Now, as the actors began to know the characters more and more, then they could add their little touches in there to try to stay faithful to what the character would say versus what the writers wrote for them that maybe wasn't so accurate. Now, the four heroes themselves were pretty excited when the writers for the show were Lawrence Marks, Arthur Julian, or Philip Sharp, because they believed that they had a better understanding of the story and the characters. Now, Friday was a short working day. They had the weekends off, and on Monday morning, they would go to Desilu Studios, where they would rehearse and block the scenes on the set under the supervision of Ed, and the director. They would continue making dialogue changes because this was a constant revising process and they wanted to make sure that the character dialogue was perfect. Now Monday was also a short working day whereas Tuesday to Thursday they worked from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That's a pretty grueling schedule. Now on Tuesday if weather permitted they would all go to do the exterior scenes in one place. This is 40 acres Desilu Studios. That is a different location for where they did the indoor shots. Now what's very interesting is they would film all of the exterior locations back to back to back. If there were any exterior then they would move to interior. The actors wouldn't really know where they would be going. They would probably know the dialogue but again it would pretty much be filmed out of order just making sure that all the exterior shots were shot. Now on Wednesday and Thursday, they would be back at the studio that is Desilu Studios to finish that episode. They would make certain that all the scenes involving the guest stars and semi-regular actors would be completed as well. Now what's really interesting is they would sometimes go ahead and do a little bit of extra work. That is, if the director did not finish filming the script and they had enough scenes accumulated from different shows to make up for the day's work, the cast would work on Friday. Instead of doing the reading that day, they would do the episodes that needed to be finished. So, like I said, it was a fairly well-oiled machine. They would make sure that none of their time was wasted, and they would put it all into filming these scenes. That took a lot of work, because if something didn't happen correctly, they would have to reshoot everything from the beginning, set up cameras, set up actors, get makeup back on and that's very time consuming. So I hope you enjoy this quick look at how they filmed Hogan's Heroes. Like I said, to make a very short episode somewhere in the range of 26 minutes, took about a whole week for the filming process, spanning different locations in Los Angeles, even driving from one studio to another studio to get the exterior and then interior shot. So thank you so much for watching guys and gals. I do appreciate you supporting the channel as well as liking this video. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time and don't forget, be hopeful.